Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to go over the process of converting an expense to a bill payment. Now, why do we need to do that? Well, an ideal accounting regarding accounts payable or vendors would be a bill plus bill payment or an expense entry. Sometimes instead of having bill plus bill payment, some people by mistake enter a bill and then an expense as well. Now we need to convert that expense to a bill payment. If we don't, two things are gonna occur. Your expenses are gonna be overstated because you have expense entry pointing to the expenses and a bill entry pointing to the expenses too. Number two, your accounts payable is gonna be overstated because even though you have paid the bill, since you haven't connected the payment to the bill yet, your bill is gonna stay open, which is gonna overstate your accounts payable as if you still owe that money. Okay, but we can't have that. If you keep doing this, if you keep having these kind of mistakes in your financials, all these things add up and you're gonna end up with a really big discrepancy in your financials. So we can't let that happen. So what needs to be done now is we, instead of deleting the expense entry, and redoing it as a bill payment, we are simply going to convert our expense entry into a bill payment. Let's see how to do that. So first, we're gonna click on the expense that was actually a payment towards a bill. When we do that on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the open bills for that particular vendor. So we will pick the bill that it was a payment towards. It's $1,000, save and close. It says bill payment, $1,000 saved. Perfect. Now, this is a bill and this is a bill payment. We did not have to delete the original transaction. We did not have to recreate it. Okay, this is one way of fixing it. Now, there could be a uh, different situation um, where, for example, let's go to this vendor. For example, the bill was $500, but the payment was a little different than that, a little more than that, for example. And the reason for that could be Maybe you paid it by credit card. When you pay by credit card, some vendors charge you a credit card fee. How would you fix it in that uh, in that situation? Now, what are we going to do here? When I click on the expense, I could pick this bill, but this is only $500. What am I going to do with the rest $15? It's going to stay open. And another thing I don't want to, one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to go back to original bill and add the fees there because if I do that, what if that period has been closed? What if this bill, instead of being from the same month, this bill is actually from six months ago. Now you have closed that period. We don't want to go back all the way uh, six months ago and six months back and add the fee now or change the transaction. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to record the bill payment here. I am going to say this is accounts payable, $500. That's what the bill was for. And then I'm going to enter bank service charges, or you can call it credit card charges, whatever you call it in your um, books, $15. Okay, save and close. Now one part is done. Now there's one more transaction we have to do after this. What we need to do is now we need to connect these two transactions. I have posted my payment to accounts payable, but I have not yet closed the bill with that payment. So what do I need to do now? I need to click here, mark as paid. I'm going to connect my bill and bill payment, the expense. And pick the payment date. I'm gonna say save and close. Once done, now your bill and bill payments are connected and you have no balance due. Bill is zero, there's nothing left on expense. That's it. This is how you would convert expense transactions into bill payments. Guys, this is very, very, very helpful and useful when you have closed the books and you don't wanna go back and delete the entries, redo them, re-reconcile your accounts. This is extremely, extremely, extremely helpful in that.